So as you can hear, Bioscape from Luftrum sounds pretty darn good. Now that I finally own the full version of Contact, I've been eyeing several libraries for purchase, and that included two really fantastic looking instruments from Luftrum called Bioscape and Lunaris. Luftrum just had a 50% off sale, so after going back and forth a bit, I decided to pick up Bioscape, even though I'm a huge fan of pad instruments. And I'm not exactly sure what I bought. On the surface, it looks very powerful, and it really is, but it's also not exactly streamlined the best. There are three main pages, and right off the bat, I find myself switching between pages far too much. That is the trade-off. When you make controls and contact very large so that they are easy to see, you eat up a lot of real estate quickly. Something like Piano Colors does this very well, and I don't feel like my workflow is interrupted because of how they divide the controls out. Tapes.01 is at the other end of the spectrum, with very small controls, but everything is pretty much one click away. Again, that trade-off here is overwhelmingly positive in my opinion, and I'm a big fan of the interface. I struggle a little with Bioscape, though. Switching pages to tweak modulation rates and types is cumbersome when trying to fine-tune something, and it feels a bit disjointed. Overall, though, the interface is beautiful to look at, and there are a lot of tools to use. On the positive side, as I said before, it does sound really fantastic. Check this out for starters. And this. And this. Which brings me back to my weird comment earlier. Bioscape is very eclectic. It's got loads of really cool Foley field recordings and ambient sounds, and a decent pad and drone section. Thus, if you want to score a movie, I think it's a good addition to your library. For ambient music also, probably worth a purchase. But then, for everything else, I'm not so sure of its use. It does have things like bowls and Chinese handballs, didgeridoos, hang drums, and other ethnic instruments, which I guess kind of fit the ethos of the instrument. And the mutate function in the center is pretty cool once you get used to what each mutation does. And that, I think, is where Bioscape's strengths lie. It has all of these different sounds and features which make the whole better than the sum of its parts. So that's my two minute overview so far. If you'd like to see me do a full review of Bioscape, please comment below and be sure to hit the like and subscribe. We'll do an outro with something from the library and we'll see you on the other side of the mountain.